What's going on guys, Marcus from Wall Street Assassins back at it again with a new video teaching you how I use my TD Ameritrade. I know I made this video in the past, but I haven't updated it since. Um, so just wanted to give you guys an updated video. So right now we have a TD Ameritrade um, platform over here. This is my graph. Um, you could basically set up what time frame you want to look at your stocks. Um, these are all the time frames that I use. Typically, I start first with the 180 day, four hour. Um, you could customize it over here, whether you want to change the time frame, whether a year or a few days over here as well. Um, so after you do that, you set up what time frame you want. You could hit apply. Um, but let's just start off with that 180 day over here. Um, let me exit out over here. On the 180 day chart, um, this is basically a simple graph where you guys can see just the candles, red and green. I'm saying red is selling, green is buying. Um, as I move my cursor from left to right, you can see that the time and the date changes. So depending on the time and the date that changes, um, we could basically know where I'm hovering over or what day it was, what time did the market drop or did that stock do anything strange during that time? Um, so that's basically with that. As I move it up and down, you can see that we have this ghost line that follows me. Um, depending on where I am on the stock, it's telling me on the left-hand side over here that you guys can see very close that this is the price I'm hovering over. So you guys can see what price I'm hovering over. Um, but before we get started, I want you guys to look at over here, this is the toolbox. So this price num um, where you see over here it says drawing set. Um, this is basically our toolbox. I mainly only just use maybe like three things out of this whole tool set. I know it looks very complicated. Um, the one with the hand, that's the one I use to basically move left to right, move my chart left to right, or I could basically zoom out so you guys could basically see um, the chart on the bigger scale. Um, the one with the price symbol, that's the one I use to basically zoom in on certain areas to see basically um, if that stock is doing something in the now or in the moment. So basically we can zoom out from here, use my hand to move over. Um, as for settings, how do I have my settings set up? So when I go over here, I have a few settings set up over here. There's a few indicators that I like to use. Um, the first one is the VWAP. So we just type in VWAP over here, you click, and then it applies it over here. Second one I like to use is the moving average exponential. So you can see that pop up over here is MOV. And then as soon as you put the A, it pops up in over here. So now I could add that to my, basically my chart. Um, and then the next one I like to use is going to be the simple moving average. So simple moving average, you can click it over here. This one I did edit it. Um, to edit them, you, you go over here, you click like this wheel over here, and then you could basically choose. I actually extended the length to the 180 day length. So the 180 length, that's the one I'm using. Um, just personal preference on that one. Um, and then display EMA. So display EMA right here. So I just clicked that, that was untouched. Um, another indicator that I like to use is the MACD. So the MACD untouched as well. And then the last indicator that I like to use is the RSI. So. That's pretty much all the in indicators I use. If you want to save this indicator setting, um, you could basically save as a set. I already have mine set um, saved already. So once you have it saved, you could basically go save it as whatever you want it to be. Um, you can see that once you click it, you could basically use set, right? And then you click apply. And then now your screen will look like mine. Um, so you could basically pull this down as well. Everything is pretty much um, once you touch it, it is interactive. Um, time and sales. So if you want to see the rhythm of the market or the rhythm of the stock that you're in, this is basically people buying and selling. Um, this is basically live. Also, when you're trading, make sure your your um, your stock chart um, says real time over here. A lot of times you guys set up your, your TD Ameritrade and it doesn't say real time. Um, call TD Ameritrade. They're pretty nice. Um, they'll be able to help you set it up as real time. So make sure your account is real time as well. Um, other than that, the appearance, uh, when you go over here next to the, basically you have the, the charts, right? And then basically the, the wheel right next to the charts over there, you basically could edit your appearance. General studies, this is basically how I have mine set up. Um, the only one I really changed was the arrows over here. Um, if you don't do that, then you're going to get that long, nasty 
um, alert. I'll show you guys how to do alerts in a few seconds. And then over here, I didn't really change anything over here. Time access, I think I expanded this to like a thousand. So definitely want to basically that, what that does is basically allows you to pan over. So say if I didn't have that done, um, your chart would be stuck over here and you wouldn't be able to move over. So I like to be able to have the freedom to move my chart as whatever I want. So that's how I, why I put it up to a thousand on the expansion area. And then other than that, these are basically the chart frames you like to look at. Um, these are all the ones I like to look at. The parents, um, when you basically set yours up, it's not going to be filled in. So you could fill it in if you want it to look nice. These are just my personal preference. Um, volume bars. I like to have the color as symbol tick. So it's going to give you that green and red. So it's going to be like negative selling or positive buying. Um, your background. So I actually have mine's black. Um, I think it normally comes in like gray or something, but I like it black, give it that a nice cool aesthetic. Other than that, I haven't touched anything after that. Um, you could double check with any of these, pause the video, and then you guys can see. Um, but I haven't really checked it, um, messed with anything besides that as well. Um, when you want to set alerts, right? So say if I'm doing my support and resistance, right? And I want to set an alert if a stock is going to break a certain area. Um, I'll go to my price symbol over here. You can zoom in on a certain area. Now I got a close vision of what's going on. Um, we can see that we're looking at the SPY over here on that 180 day chart. And we can see the date and the time over here. So over here, we can see that the stock is basically, when you see that high, 381.96, that means this is the highest point the stock has reached. Uh, if I was to zoom back out, you'll be able to see low, which is this is the lowest price the stock has reached on that time frame that you're on. So granted, if I was to drop down to maybe like the one day, one minute, we will see maybe like a closer high and a closer low. But uh, within 180 days, um, the highest the stock has been is 381 and 96 cents and the low is 272 and 99 cents. Um, so if I went to set alert, Say if I want to buy the break of the high, right? I could basically just right click and then I could basically just scroll down and you'll see create alert. So once you see create alert, you could just simply click it and then you could do at or above the certain price point in which you want it to basically sound an alarm at. It'll basically give you a nice little bell, letting you know that that stock is basically past that price point. Right. But what if I want a shorter stock? Right. I could do my support area. Right. And then I just do the same right click, scroll down, create alert. Um, and then you could go to at or below the certain price point. And now you get that bell. Let's say if you missed it and you walked away and you want to check to see what happened, um, you do get these notifications basically telling you what price um, the stock is passed. You can also write yourself a note as well um, on those alerts. I don't really do that, but if you want, you can write yourself a note, be like, hey, this stock has passed the part, point that what you wanted to buy that. And I believe that's pretty much it. Other than that, um, I want to show you guys one other trick that I do like. Say if you guys just have a computer screen and you guys don't have multiple screens and you guys want to basically watch multiple stocks or maybe watch different time frames. I like to watch different time frames when I'm trading. Um, you go to this box right here. You see um, it says 20 day, 180 day, right? So mine is going to say that because that's how I edited it. Um, but if you guys go, you guys can pick how many charts you guys want. Typically, I feel like it looks better with the three. So when you do three, now you can basically put spy. If I wanted to watch three spies, right? The, the only downside to this is that you have to go back to the whole process uh, with basically editing these and making sure the, the time frame and the studies are all there. But if I go, I could add my studies and everything like that. Um, just like the sets before, you could basically choose the sets that you want to add, click apply, use set, apply, and then it should load up the way it is. And then you could basically mess with the appearance as well too, just like you did before. Um, how you go to appearance, fill it in, color as it takes. Um, I think that's pretty much it. And then you click apply to that. And then you remember those nasty arrows I was telling you about? That's in the general over here. Um, do not show arrows, right? So, or you could be like show only arrows. Um, this way you don't have anything on your screen when you're trading. And now you see it just looks nice and clean. And then you do that for the other one as well too. The reason I use three is because uh, once you basically put one over here um, and then say if later on you wanna basically 
detach this, right? So if you want to watch multiple stocks, so let's go to one that I already have preset. You can see I have so many over here. So you can see that this one, I have the SPY. Um, it's all blank over here. But if I didn't do that, uh, when I detach, right, I could basically detach and watch multiple stocks um, and then retype in a different ticker. Um, it would basically be a SPY again. And once I change it, I couldn't go back to the previous stock I was watching. So say if I was wanting to watch SPY and FedEx, um, I couldn't do that if it didn't have three. So I put three, I minimize one, and I just use these two. This way I could have like my 20 day and 180 day over here. And this way I could basically look at two time frames and compare and contrast to see what's going on with the stock. So the only downside is that you just have to basically um, redo the whole process, like the step one for each one. But once you do that, you can save it and you could do as save as grid. And then you can see I already have them pre labeled like 20 day, 180 day. And then I had like the two stars because I used the one with the three. So it took me a while to kind of figure all, all this out. Um, and that's why I wanted to make this video so you guys could definitely um, have some type of solid ground to basically start with when you guys start with trading. So that's going to be it. Stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully this was helpful. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below.